Welcome to So Easy Video Tutorial. We would like to help you to create parts and accessory listing efficiently. First, we would like to introduce the methods to create fitment table. If you have the information for your fitment table already, you can create by your own. Alternatively, you may import the fitment table information from an active listing which contains a fitment table that you want. We can apply this fitment table to different states. You may also add or delete the models from this fitment table. When this fitment table is ready, we can go back to listing data sheet to revise the data sheet by adding the fitment table. On top of it, we also prepare free listing templates for our users to apply directly for your listing. Scan QR code to explore. Now we would like to show you a demonstration for a fitment table. We go to channel, channel setting eBay, then fitment profile. We choose new profile. If you have the fitment table information already, we can use the first option to fill in the fitment table. Or we can use the spy function to copy the fitment table from an archive listing on eBay, which contain the fitment table we want. For example, we want to copy the fitment table from this archive listing, which contain 1,495 car model. We just copy the item number, go back to so easy, and paste this item number. Also, we need to give a profile name for this table. Now, we just use the date as the name of this profile, and then press create. Then this fitment table is ready. And now we have 1495 car model in this table. We can add or delete car model from this table as well. To apply to their sheet, we have to go back to listing, their sheet, their sheet maintenance to add this table to specific their sheet. We have to click on the pencil button, then we enable the fitment profile functions. Input the name of our fitment table. Be aware, the listing site and the eBay categories must be exactly the same as the original listing that we copy from. This is done. We can save and verify the data sheet, then list onto eBay. If your data sheet is already listed onto eBay, we can just sync up, then your current listing will include this table. If we want to revise the fitment table, we can use the bulk button to revise or delete. Simply just select all table that you want to revise. Click on the bulk button on the bottom of this page. Then we can edit the year of brand by using the bulk revision function. If we want to edit a specific table, we just use the button on the right hand side. For example, clicking on the pencil, we can edit. Clicking on the hyperlink icon, we can apply to our data sheet. Clicking on the importing icon, we can upload Excel file to adjust the fitment table. Clicking on the exporting icon, we can export this fitment table. That's the practical function for parts and accessory listings.